My name is Paul. I used to be really close with my brother Alan. That changed forever. But we didn't have a huge fight or anything. I wish we had. At least then we could talk it out. No. He died last month. It was all so mysterious. I was the last person he spoke with, and I still can't get my head around what happened. So, I want to share my story. I, I don't know. Maybe it'll help me get over losing my little brother. Alan was two years younger than me, so he was a junior when I went off to college in California. The nightmare started off as any normal day. He was in history class, which he hated, by the way. He was just spacing out like normal when, outside, near the window, he saw a picture of a girl. Alan didn't even register it at first, but as time went on, he looked back out the window and the picture was always in the same place. No one picked it up, but there was something else. Dry leaves kept blowing past it, but the picture didn't move. He kept his eyes on it and ran outside right after class to pick it up. There was something about that girl that made his heart ache. She was thin, 
Blonde, had big blue eyes and red lips that were tensed up as if she was about to laugh at any moment. She was wearing a white dress. Her arms were crossed, and her right hand had two fingers up in a peace sign. His friends brought him his bag he had left in class. He showed the other guys the picture and asked them if they knew the girl. None of them had seen her around. So, the next day, he took the picture around school and asked everyone if they knew who she was. But nobody knew her. He tried everything. He even went to the library hoping to find her in a yearbook, in a team photo, or some club roster. But she was nowhere, and that evening, he went home feeling disappointed. My mom remembers that he was quite at dinner, really unusual for him. Alan was in his room when I FaceTimed him. I could tell right away there was something wrong because he was totally out of it. When I asked him, he told me everything. He even showed me the photo. I was about to make a comment when he got out of bed and went to his desk to grab a bottle of water. His desk was right by the window. I heard him scream. That's her! Who? I asked. The girl in the picture, Paul. She's right across the street. He dropped his phone on the bed, and all I could see were his pillows. I laughed and hung up. I never thought that would be the last time I ever spoke to him. When I came home for his funeral, my mom told me that Alan had run outside shouting, It's her! It's her! My mom had smiled for a moment, but as she looked out the open door, her smile turned into a horrible scream. There was a blonde girl in a white dress on the other side of the street. She was smiling and waving at Alan, inviting him to join her. Alan crossed the street without looking and the car came over. The girl disappeared. My mom ran outside shouting, but it was too late. The police checked the area later, but the only thing they ever found was the picture of a beautiful blonde girl lying on the sidewalk. She was thin, blonde, had big blue eyes and red lips that were tensed up as if she was about to laugh at any moment. She was wearing a white dress, the peace sign was gone, her arms were crossed, and her right hand had three fingers up.
Bye-bye.